Hello. Hey, Kendra, how are you? I you know what? I like people carving the bathroom because the bathroom has the best light. You look so pretty. Oh, thank you. You too. Thank you. What's your name, baby? Kiana. Kiana? Where are yes, you calling from? I'm from Houston. From Houston. All the pretty girls live in Houston, they say. Ah, thank you. <laughs> how old are you, Kiana? I'm 37. 37? Mm hmm Okay, when's your birthday? July 3rd. July 3rd is a Leo or a Cancer? Cancer. Cancer. You have any kids, Kiana? I do. How many kids? I have, I have five. How, you're five kids? Yeah. What are your kids' age? 18, 17, <laughs> 15, 11, and 9. I had to think about that. All the same dad? Yes. Was you ever married? No. How come you didn't marry the man you have five kids by? <laughs> it was just too much. It was it was bad. It was toxic. I try to keep something together because I was raised my mother and father, but yo, I should have had jetted after two, but I didn't. Okay. So it was toxic the whole your oldest child's eighteen. So yes. how long were you dealing with him? For twelve years. Twelve years? Mm -hmm. Well your oldest child's eighteen. Yes. We was well no, hold on. So we've been separated for twelve years, but hold on. Let me take that back. I met him eighteen. We had the baby. Yeah, so twelve yeah, twelve years. I've been done with him since I was thirty. I'm thirty seven. So you've been done with him for seven years? Yes. Okay. But um I mean you your oldest child is eighteen, so I'm assuming you dealt with him at least like for 18 years in some capacity, right? No, I left him when, I don't know how old she was. Okay, uh, you left him, but you said you yeah. dealt with him for 12 years. Oh, so you're saying- No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I'm saying I, we've been done since I've been 30. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, you've been done since you were 30. Okay, yes. okay, okay. All right, so let's keep it going. So Kiana, what do you do for a living? I'm a nurse practitioner. A nurse practitioner. Mm -hmm. um, and when's your, oh, some of your birthday? So you're a cancer, a nurse practitioner, 37, yeah. Houston, Texas, five kids, same guy. Um, let's get into it. What kind of man are you looking for? I'm, I'm looking for a guy that's a protector, um, a provider, someone that's funny. He loves God. He loves family. Um, he desires to be married. I'm looking for someone that's funny as hell and uh, a good communicator. Okay. So simple shit. Simple shit. Are you yeah. done with having kids? Oh, yeah. Okay. You, you, so That's a wrap. So the guy you meet has to already have kids? Yes. And if okay. he doesn't, then he got five. <laughs> okay. So no more kids for her. Um, what's the age range you want to date? Um, I'm thinking probably my age, if I went a little younger, maybe 35 to about 46. I like them older, but 35, 35 is okay. That's probably the youngest I will go. Okay. Does he have to be in Houston? He, or the surrounding areas like, um, I don't know, Dallas is a few hours away. But yeah, I would prefer him to be in Houston. So I want to be able to be like, yo, come through. I don't want to be on no... I see you this weekend type stuff. So okay, okay. So yeah. Kiana, um, do you have an appearance requirement? Um, <laughs> I want him to not be obese, but you know, just let the height and the weight make sense. You know what I'm saying? If you six three, you may be able to be two thirty. I don't know, but um, yeah, you can't be no five five two thirty, but yeah, I think that's, yeah. Okay. You got to make the height weight make sense. Okay. Yeah. So, Kiana, you say you dealt with your child's father seven years ago. Was that your last relationship? Yes. Okay. So, what was the last time you've been intimate with a man? Uh, June. Of this year? Yes, ma'am. So, why can't you relate with that person? <laughs> because um, our lifestyles don't, don't match up he cool as shit we still cool but um 
he's trying this polyamorous, not the polyamorous, he's trying this poly lifestyle. So, and I ain't with it. So, but we still cool. So he wanted to have more than one girl? Yes. Okay. So, but yeah. you guys weren't, were y'all in a relationship in June or y'all was just messing around? No, nah, we were just messing around. That's all. Okay, okay. So, um, does the guy got to make a certain amount of money? Um, <laughs> I think he should make enough where he can provide. I mean, I don't, I don't want to be like, oh, he has to make X amount of money, but be able to take care of your family. Okay, your family as in you and your children? Well, if we get married, then yes. But like, uh, if we're just dating, getting to know each other, I'm hoping that we're dating to be married. So yes, you would have to think about, can I provide for this lady and her children? You only have three living in the home, but like, can I provide for these people? Okay. So I, I don't know how, I would say to take care of a family of three, you got at least probably making 80, 90,000 maybe. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I know what I make takes care of me and my children. So I have a child in college. So I know what I make takes care of it, but I don't know what, you know, what would be the bare minimum to take care of a family. Right. So let's, I want to ask that question because some, like in hosting the show, I get men who don't mind dating women with children. Then I get men who don't want to date women with children because they feel like they don't want to provide, you know, for mm -hmm. somebody else's child. But then I have women who say, you don't got to provide my child, my child's father. So um, how involved is your children's father in their life? Is he a, is he a hands-on father? Is he a financial provider? Um, what is the involvement your child's father has with, with um, your children? Um, he's very much involved. Well, we live in two different states. I'm from the Midwest, so now I'm living in Houston. So he comes here every three months, fly in and see the children. And uh, he's financially, you know, takes care of them as well. But if I have children in the home, then, you know, what I'm supposed to do, go give them to their father. So no. you have to think about that too, you know? Oh, no, no. Listen, your children are your children. But a guy mm -hmm. has to think about, like you said, a guy has to, again, and I, I'm not a dating expert. I'm not a relationship coach, but I'm a professional yeah. host. And as a professional host, one of my great traits is listening. And mm -hmm. with hosting this show for almost two years, one of the things I learned is, um, that is the that is the caveat when men date women with children. So when you even said it yourself, if a guy dates you, you want to date with marriage in mind. So you didn't marry your child's father though, right? No. So you want the next guy you date though to marry you. So that will be a requirement for him to date you. Yes. We gotta so be on want, yes. Okay, so you're requiring him. Now get I'm I'm a, I'm gonna play yourself back to you, okay? So you're requiring a man to marry you, also provide for the three children that live in your home, and you are saying you're not having any more kids. So he's signing mm -hmm. up to marry you, take care of your three children, and if he wanted his own biological child, he cannot get that from you, correct? Correct. Do you think that's unreasonable? Um, well, most men that I, that I do date, are 45 and they got grown children they ain't looking for to have anymore so okay. i really want a man that already has his children i wouldn't even want to entertain a guy that's like yo i want children so i know i don't want anymore but no i get where you coming from though yeah let me ask you that the guy that you're dating that's 45 are they trying to get married or are they trying to date you're a beautiful guy girl. so i i think one thing a challenge you might have is because you are a beautiful girl so i think you have no men problems I think mm -hmm. you will always have male companionship. Um, I think there's plenty of men that wouldn't mind being in your life. Um, and I'm not even saying that they might not want to marry you, but mm -hmm. do you make that a requirement? Do you have sex without relationships? I mean, without a commitment? Or are you, or would you be willing to be intimate without a relationship? Um, 
now I will say I wouldn't want to be intimate with our relationship. Before I have, I was just out here having a little fun when I moved to Houston. But like now, I really want something serious. Okay, because I would say for you to weed out the men that want to be with you, you probably should make that a requirement to see how many men mm -hmm. just want to sleep with you, opposed to want the want to rise to the occasion of what you desire which is right. dating for marriage and also dating with the idea of marrying you and accepting your th the three children that live in your home at least um so and, and you would and i'm quite sure maybe you'll be able to weed it out to see what mm -hmm. man stays around longer because they really want to get to know you or the man that stays around because you're beautiful and he wants to smash right okay all right so, um, do you have an appearance requirement by any chance? No, just a, well, I want him to definitely be black. I love my black men. And I just, just try to be in shape and smell good and all that good stuff, type of stuff. Okay. Does no, he, I'm, I'm not picky. You're not picky. Does he have to be in Houston? Yes. He has to be in Houston. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you told me when your last relationship was. So, the last question, I guess, for you is why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, because I'll do my best to take care of him emotionally, physically, um, and mentally. It, I know how to get PPP loans without going to jail. Uh, that wait, was wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I was just joking, but I, I do know, know someone who does, that you, does that. Uh huh. You wasn't joking. You say you know how to get the PPP loan without going to jail? Yeah, I do. What was and what was the trick? It no, it's, I just got the plug on that. I don't do it, but I have the plug on on it. Okay, okay. So yeah. if it ever comes around again, this is who you need to hit up, people, if you want to stay out of jail. All yeah. Right. Um, some more benefits of dating you. <laughs> okay. Um, if you want someone who can get along with your daddy's ratchet side of family, your mama's bougie side, that's me. I'm well rounded. Um. I'm an effective communicator. And I, I really, for real, some real shit while all the other side stuff. I definitely love family, like, and God. That's number one for me. So if you want someone that's a homebody, that loves family, that wants to take care of her man, that's me. All in a nutshell. All in a nutshell. All right, let's do this. This is Kiana in Houston. She's a cancer. She's a nurse. She'll date 35 to 46. Um, she has five kids. I'm looking to have any more kids. She's 37. Um, you have to make enough money because she would like to be married to date her and provide for a family of three because two, two are out the house. Um, mm -hmm. And there we have it. And she prefers that you're in Houston. She's not having any more kids, so it's good if you already have children. All right, Kiana, give the next program name. Okay, it's lashes um, underscore BF underscore. No, I'm sorry, lashes. I don't know my Instagram. Okay, it's lashes underscore RMY underscore BF. Lashes yes. underscore RMY underscore BF. All right. Thank you, Kiana, for coming on the show, Boo. Keep me Thank posted. you, Miss Kendra. You're welcome, Boo. Keep me posted how it goes. Okay, I will. All right, bye, baby.